Hey you guys, it's Sydney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about winter hair tips for curly hair. And this is also a collab with Hey It's Jay Lee Murphy here on YouTube. And she is gorgeous. Her hair is beautiful. She is very sweet and she's going to be showing you some protective styles for the winter time. So one of my first tips is to deep condition. If you did not deep condition in the summer, you need to in the winter time. The air is so dry and your hair is more prone to break. So we don't want that. So if you deep condition at least once a week, I mean like every curly girl has to deep condition. There's no way around it. Um, if you need a deep condition quick, what you can do is you can replace your conditioner in the shower with a deep conditioner and just, you know, um, leave it in after you're done with your shower, rinse it out. But if you're, that's if you're in a hurry. If not, I would like, I would suggest um, deep conditioning at least 30 minutes um, once a week. If not, you can do twice a week if your hair is really, really dry. So I will be showing you some of my favorite deep conditioners. Another tip is never leave the house with wet hair um, since it is so dry. There's not a lot of moisture in the air, so your hair can get really frizzy, and you need to make sure that it's moisturized. Now, I like to diffuse. I only diffuse usually in the wintertime if I'm in a hurry. Like right now, my hair is still air drying because I don't really have to go anywhere today, so I just decided I'll diffuse a little, but I only diffuse maybe 50%. Then I'll let it air dry and get that out of the way. But if you are you know, have to go to work and you do your hair in the morning, go ahead and diffuse. It's going to save you time. And diffuse on the cool setting. Because if you diffuse on hot, that's going to make it more frizzy. And it's just not going to look cute. So diffuse on cool. Um, that's what I like to do anyway. And you can do high or low, whichever. If you diffuse on high, that could cause more frizz. So if you are really prone to frizz, I would suggest diffusing on the low setting. Another tip is the LOC method. Now, I used to do this a long time ago, but it wasn't really the a cream that I used. I used a gel, um, but I am going to start trying to do the LOC method more. Um, I've been experimenting. I've got a lot of products sent to me, and I need to try some out, so I may be doing different routines. If you want to see those, comment below and let me know. But LOC, if you don't know, and there's LCO also, LOC is liquid oil cream and LCO is liquid cream oil. Now, I do notice in the summertime, I would always, you know, sometimes I would be able to get away with just a leave-in and also last one or two, but now my hair has changed and I tried just to use the leave-in and it did not work. It had no hold. So I figured now this year I have to do heavier products and make sure it's moisturized that I'm using heavy products because heavier products usually have more ingredients and more, you know, oils in it to moisturize your hair. But I did notice in the summertime that I was scrunching with the oil at my ends after my routine. So I was probably doing the LCO instead of the LLC. So I'm going to try the LLC and let you know how it works for me and if you have not tried it out. Try it out and let me know how it does for you. Also, if you did not know, you guys, you have to switch up your products and your oils. Not just your products, your oils as well. Um, what worked for me, like I said last winter, it does not work now. I tried it the other day. Nope. No hold. Did not look good. I wet it back down. I was very upset because that product was my go-to, one of my favorite products to use in the wintertime. And it, my hair did not like it at all. I don't know what happened, but you have to switch out your products because um, the winter and the weather changing, your hair, your hair is going to change. I mean, different. It's going to be humid in the summer, cold in the winter. You need products that are going to go with, you know, almost like go with the weather. You need more moisturizing products in the winter when it's dry outside. But in the summer, you need products that are going to help with frizz. Because we already know if we walk out with wet hair, there goes our hair looking like a lion. We don't need that, you guys. And also your oils. If you use coconut oil, okay, coconut oil, I used to use this, you know, when I first started switching up my products to go natural. 
And I would use this fake coconut oil. I didn't even know that there was an organic coconut oil. It was solid, but it still like had all these extra ingredients that your hair does not need for the winter time. But with coconut oil as well, um, everyone says that's their go-to oil, but it is very heavy, you guys. If you are using that all the time and like just slopping it on your ends and your ends are greasy, that is why, because it is so heavy. Um, I suggest using lighter oils year round. Um, I like jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and I have some other oils that I like to use, but those two are my go-to oils and um also with coconut oil it's solid and you know how it melts if you take a shower and it's in there it can melt solid again no 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 literally if you put that in your hair clumps of coconut oil are going to be in your hair you do not want that that's not cute someone might go oh what's that you know coconut oil so i used to love it but i have not used it for maybe a year or two now and I have not missed it, to be honest. It sits on my hair. Now, if you have a thicker hair texture than me, go ahead, try it out. Um, always try out things to see if your hair is going to like it because what works for me may not work for you. You already know that um, everyone's texture is different. And, I mean, I have a twin. Our hair texture is totally different. What, what I used, she tried. She didn't like it. What she uses, I tried, I didn't like, so you never know. But what your best friend uses, that's her go-to, it may not be yours. So shop around, see what works for you. Heavy products, look for creams, hair butters, but it just depends on your hair type and what you know your hair needs. My last thing is protective styles. Now, I love protective styles, um... Especially in the winter. It's so dry outside. You need to keep your hair protected. Keep it up so your ends aren't going to get um, really, really dry. Because when your hair gets dry, it's prone to break, like I said. And um, with protective styles, you know, you can do braids, box braids, Senegalese twists. If you want to do those with added hair, if not on your own hair, you can do, you know, I like to do two braids, a bun in the back, or a slick bun, or... Have up, have down. You've seen my um, curly hairstyles. But in the winter, I try to incorporate more twists and braids in my style so that it's actually to my head and it's, you know, out of the way. And that I know it's put up and it's protected. So I hope all these tips helped you out. Comment, like, subscribe for me, please. Um, if you have any other questions or you'd like to know, what other products I use, feel free to ask me and I would be happy to get back to you with those. Uh, also, let me know what your favorite oils and your favorite conditioners, deep conditioners, and stylers for the winter are. Alright, you guys, that is it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.